Hi, Libra. <laughs> um, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra in the North Node. <laughs> wipe me down. I'm on. Wipe me down. I'm on. Wipe me down. Some of you guys are doing some cleaning or like you're thinking about redoing something, remodeling, refurnishing, reapplying something, or just reapplying to something. Um, I'm hearing second coat ice cream paint job some of you guys could be like remodeling a house or you're just thinking about ways that you can improve your surroundings your circumstances your income this feels good as fuck though libra i ain't gonna lie <laughs> this feels like you know you are in a place that you're comfortable enough to like make certain moves like you got options or you have support systems that are going to um be there for you while you make these moves so like if you got kids i feel like you have people to watch your kids if you have a business like you got like a brand new ambassador brand ambassador or you have people that are going to promote for you like whatever it is that you're trying to push for you already have an army or you got like the foundation to make that happen okay libra that's cute all right let's just take all three fuck it i usually only take two but so we have number one, you create your own reality. What you want wants you to. What do you want to experience? Yeah, Libra, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're creating your reality. You're making things look the way that you want them to look. I feel like if you are just getting into a new dorm, like you are giving it your aesthetic. You're adding your touch to something that's already existing and you've got the support to do that. So forgiveness will set you free. What do you need to, to forgive yourself for? That's interesting. Okay, and then we have, you are the truth seeker, awakening, actualizing, transcending. How can you invite more grace to guide you? Okay, Libra. So, okay, I feel like the forgiveness part energetically in this spread is coming out of a place of, damn, I should have did this sooner. Or I should have thought of this sooner. Or I wish I would have uh, had the tools, the knowledge, the discipline, the experience, the people, the support, the, the whatever to do this sooner. Chill. Everything happens when it's supposed to. Okay, not swords in reverse. That's that's really nice. I uh just feel an energy, Libra. Even if you don't have support on the 3D level, you know, you got a lot of support in the 5D, but whatever it is that you are aiming for, or you know, if you're praying to God, like God, please just help me get this, or please just help me maintain this, or please just help me get through this, and I swear I will not mess it up. I'll go to church on Sunday. This feels like this. But, you know, I feel like you do have to forgive yourself after you uh, create something or after you get down with something because it's like, damn, you realize all along I could have been doing this. That's all right. Listen, your time is your time. So I feel like you had an idea since birth or like you had gifts since birth or you thought about something at, you know, 14 years old or, you know, now you're like a little bit older. Some of you guys could be watching this. You're uh, like 30 plus or whatever. And you're just like, I could have been doing this. All right, so let's see what's Libra's energy. Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're ditching something. I feel like whatever it is in the past that held you back or made you doubt yourself or made you feel like you wasn't going to be good enough or it wasn't going to be smart enough or maybe if even if this was you self-sabotaging an opportunity or like... um kind of missing out on opportunities because of whatever you were dealing with you have to forgive yourself for that Libra you need to forgive somebody else either you wasn't ready or somebody else that was with you wasn't ready and this held you back okay <laughs> I feel like this is like you it's time to move forward now stop looking back so much on the past we have the ace of wands in reverse yeah, something was blocked from you for a reason. I feel like, you know, even if you... Okay, this is what this is. If you would have gotten something back when you are thinking about it being the best time for you, you would have fumbled it anyway. Like, just think about it. Like, you had to prepare yourself for this, you know? Or, you know, if you're dealing with somebody else and this is not your energy, I feel like somebody is not ready yet, okay? So you're going to have to make a decision on if you want to end this situation and go forth without them. Or if you want to see it through with them. Okay. So you got options. I'm surprised. I think that the uh, Two of Pentacles is going to come out. But we'll see. But yeah, I feel like you're weighing up your options about if you want to like just dub something. Or if you just want to kind of see it through to the end. 
Oh, uh, yeah. We got the Ace of Cups coming out upright. So I feel like ultimately, Libra, you're going to decide to keep on going forth with something because you put in a lot of time and effort with this. This feels like a struggle, but it feels like it's not going to go in vain. I like that. I feel like too, Libra, if you are dealing with somebody, they are loyal as fuck. Like if you've been if for the past 10 months, if you have been kind of like with this person, I don't know what energy they're giving because no one is showing up here. But if you've been going back and forth with someone for the last 10 months, this person is very loyal. I just feel like they need to get over a hump in the road. So see it through. Uh, I wish I could write this down. I need to start writing down these titles. But I feel like that's the whole title of this video for you, Libra. You need to see something through. It might not look like it's going to work at first. It might be very hard. It might be tumultuous, whatever. But ultimately, it's going to offer you a brand new path. 555 five, five is on the clock. Oh, come on now. Chills. We got the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, it's it's time to stop thinking of so much about uh the negative the negative outcomes that could be from this. And it's time to just uh see the truth. How can you invite more grace to guide you? You can invite grace to guide you by uh focusing on the positive, forgiving something or someone, even if that's yourself. I feel like some of you guys had a really dark energy that was following you for a while like a cloud over your head or maybe this could be like hereditary you maybe you got like a uh, something passed down from your parents and you had to kind of overcome their their trauma or their shiran placements for those of you who are into astrology you had to overcome their battles before you could get to your ace of cups okay so i'm hearing generation generational curses okay one of you guys don't like calling it generational curses i just heard that okay call it what you want but you had something to get over <laughs> that maybe didn't even have nothing to do with you. What in the world is going on? Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups in reverse, Ace of Discs in reverse. What is this? This is an energy too of like somebody keeps stopping and starting. Baby, you got to stop doing that. I feel like somebody is really like hot and cold or like you are irritated because you keep stopping and starting or someone else that's riding along with you keep stopping and starting. It's like one day they're like, nah, I'm not doing that. No, I'm definitely not doing that. And then the next day they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Maybe we can look into it. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I hear you. You're right. Oh, no, 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 I'm not doing that again. No, no, I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> okay, Libra. So some of y'all are going to have to decide if you want to... Um, but I mean, Libras are naturally indecisive. So this might be you. There is no energy on this board whatsoever. I feel like whatever idea you guys have, it hasn't even manifested yet. You're literally just going through mental gymnastics to figure out if this is what you want. I feel like something hasn't even proven itself to be productive or unproductive. It's just like you're weighing up the pros and cons about it. Um... Yeah, the death card. Okay, so now we got some energy on the board. Scorpio or Taurus. I feel like you're going back and forth about uh, if you want to make a change or if you want to go in a different direction or if you want to uh, go to a funeral. Oh, on a deeper level, this is not going to resonate for all of you guys. This could be like <laughs> literally 10%. But I feel like some of you guys are trying to uh, decide if you want to pull the plug on a loved one. Who could be in a coma or you're thinking about reaching out to a scorpio or a taurus or they're thinking about reaching out to you i'm also getting some of you guys could be very depressed or, or or borderline suicidal here if this does not resonate rebuke this message right now like <clears throat> rebuke this portion for those of you who have not been suicidal i don't want that energy to rub off on you but listen some of you guys have been going back and forth um, because it's like maybe you feel like you don't have anything to live for or like, you know, if you kind of stop doing whatever it is that you're doing, you have nothing. That's not the fuck true. I'm sorry to cuss, but it's not. Stop doing that. You are abundant. You have many pathways. If this path don't work out, you could go be a doctor. You could go be a, a astronaut, a baker, like... And I know it's easier said than done, but Libra, please don't box yourself into anything. You're not boxable. That's why you literally are the seventh out of the 12th Zodiac. You and Virgo are dead smack in the middle. You embody everybody's energy that is around you. 
you're literally in the middle you're not the youngest or the oldest you're in the middle people come to you for advice because you can see every every angle so why wouldn't you be able to do every angle i'm confused let's read this again somebody in the back need to hear this you create your own reality what you want wants you to what do you want to experience and don't be don't be vague i know you want to be happy i know you want money i know you want love you want this you want that honey be specific some of you guys need to make vision boards and get real practical like get real specific you know what i mean forgive your past forgive whoever didn't show up for you in the past whatever didn't work out for you in the past whatever you know you put time and energy into that didn't work out in the past you can invite more grace into your life by changing your mindset or changing what you focus your energy on here let's move on from this energy what's the overall energy please and thank you i'm hearing the song tell me something good oh tell me that you love me yeah you guys could be trying to get um reassurance or validation from somebody who you love then i feel like this person is like <laughs> this person is um they they have a hard time expressing themselves so somebody could have been through a lot of betrayal or a lot of heartache or they could have just been shot down or denied so many times that it's like here you are libra with your ace of cups like hi i, I feel like this is like spongebob and squidward energy like you could be spongebob and your lover is squidward or you your lover could be squidward wait did i just say that twice flip it reverse it whatever the fuck listen child what's the raw energy Okay, so we got the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Okay, Libra. So the first step to making the change that you need is to fix your mindset. You need to work on your mental energy. You need to work on how you perceive things, how you view things, how you speak about things. Hello, come on. Somebody is being too negative and they're wondering why stuff is not changing for them. It starts with your mind. It starts with your mind. What do you want to experience? How can you create that? stop speaking negatively on things before it even starts let me tell y'all uh real quickly how this works right so say for instance if there's two people in a relationship one person is like oh my god like i've been cheated on so many times in the past i've been betrayed i've been abandoned i've been neglected abused used tormented i've just been through it all right they're in their woe is me bag understandably so but still they're in their woe is me bag right and you get a really good person that's coming along. God sent them to you. This is the Ace of Cups, a refreshing energy. This is a whole new energy. Anything from anything, anywhere from anywhere away from what you've been through in the past. This is this is brand new. But because you're jaded and because you already are thinking like, oh, the worst of the situation, you're not even gonna put anything into it. So now you got this person that's standing in front of you with flowers and rings and jewelry and love and abundance and all of these things. And you're just like, <laughs> nah, I think I'm just going to cut it off. I think I'm just going to dead it. Hello, death card, right? And now you just missed out on the opportunity, right? And now you looking back and you seeing that same person that was trying to give you the ace of cups. They off with somebody else. Or they off with your idea. They're off with your money. They're off with your with your brand. They're off with your whatever it is. Or you're watching people start over. Ace of Cups in the death card. You're watching somebody start something over from scratch. And you're like, damn, I could have did that too. Like, I could have packed up and moved and, and started over. Somebody wants to move to Alaska or Nebraska. Or they want to move to the Midwest or the West Coast. Do that. But stop taking this mindset with you. Don't take that with you when you go. Because it don't matter where you move to. If you got that mindset, it's going to follow you everywhere you go. That These outcomes are going to follow you everywhere you go if you keep on running with the same mind. Let me tell you something. I had a conversation with my friend earlier. And I was telling him, don't trust your mind. You know, I know it's a part of your body. But I feel like that is one of the challenges we have on earth as humans. Like, you have to learn how to compartmentalize your mind your body your spirit your intuition your friends your family your lovers your your job your purpose your career all of those things are completely different they're not intertwined so you know and that's a hard challenge trying to differentiate your intuition from your mind from your soul 
from your fears, from your paranoia. That's difficult. So when your mind starts speaking to you, you need to start asking that joint questions, okay? Don't let your mind tell you anything. Don't let that tell you anything. Ask yourself, why do you feel like that? When your subconscious starts speaking, understand that your subconscious is not always just you. Sometimes those are energies that are around you. Sometimes your subconscious brings, you know, past traumas from ancestors that haven't got over stuff. Sometimes your mind speaks uh, to fears, you know? And it's not trying to harm you, but your mind stores things so that you can, you know, have memories that keep you safe. So if something happens to me, if I get stung by a bee, yeah, next time I see a bee, I'm going to be afraid of that bee because my mind is trying to tell me, hey, I have memories stored of when this didn't, this wasn't good for you. This hurt you. And the mind is good for reminding you of where not to go, but it's not good for showing you where you're supposed to be. Hello? That's what your intuition is for. Your intuition is for the is for the future. Your mind is for the past. Differentiate that. If you're dealing with a Gemini, <laughs> this person is a work in progress. Uh, I feel like Libra, you're dealing with if you're dealing with a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Gemini, or a Sagittarius, there is love here. There is love here, but somebody has to uh, fix their mindset. This can work, uh, but leave the Ten of Swords in the past. Leave the past in the past, babe. Libra, I hope that this uh, helped you. I'm getting chills. I love y'all so much. I wish I could give you a hug. Bye.